Hi, Paul here, and I want to talk to you about Power BI licenses and how licenses are managed within your subscription and how you can request a license so that you can publish reports. A lot of organizations are going through a transition, and there can be a little confusion about how this works, who to talk to, and what requests to make. So let me give you a quick tour of the Power BI environment with regard to licensing. You can see that I'm on the Power BI homepage. How did I get there? I just opened up my web browser. I went to powerbi.com or app.powerbi.com. I was prompted to log in and provided um, my Windows credentials. Once uh, I get there, you can see that this is a premium tenant. You can see that whoever set up this subscription using the same email domain as mine uh, upgraded it to a premium capacity subscription. Now, if you just set up a regular uh, Power BI subscription and you've purchased a pro license, you have a subscription and then you can buy additional pro licenses so that people can publish reports and share. If you upgrade to premium capacity, then anybody in your organization will be able to see and interact with reports uh, but in order to publish reports, you have to have a pro license assigned. Now, if we go to workspaces, you'll see that I have no workspaces available to me. I know that there are hundreds of users in my organization who are using Power BI. The reason I have no workspaces is because nothing has been shared with me. And I don't have a Power BI Pro license, so I can't publish reports. So how do I know that? Well, if I go to workspaces, and I click on Create App Workspace, I'm going to be prompted to upgrade to a Power BI Pro license. And uh, what's confusing here is if I say, okay, I want to try Pro for free, I get a limited time Pro license. Uh, by the way, this feature can be disabled by your administrators so that users uh, have to request those licenses through your organization. And then I can say I want to upgrade my account. Again, those are features that uh, in a proper deployment, uh, the administrator should turn these off through the admin portal. So I can see that I don't have a pro license. So I'm going to click cancel. And uh, let's figure out how I can get a pro license. Now I'm going to go to the Office portal, and I do that simply by going to office.com. If you are an Office 365 shop, you have an Office 365 subscription, you'll see that licenses are actually uh, administered through the admin app. You can see a shortcut right there, but I'm going to go here. And while this is opening, I'll just point out that if you don't have an Office 365 subscription and someone has set up a Power BI subscription, you still go to the Office 365 Admin Center. You actually have an Office 365 tenant at that point, uh, which is where you manage um, all of your licenses, whether or not you're paying for Office 365 and users are using Office 365 applications. So. I can go to billing, and this is where I see my licenses. Now, before I do that, let's actually go to users and active users. And here I'll see all of the hundreds of users within my organization. I'm going to search for myself. And you'll see there I am. You can see that although I am a Power BI service administrator in this particular tenant, I don't have a Power BI Pro license. Here you can see the product licenses um, assigned to me, and the only license that I have is Power BI Free, which lets me see reports that have been shared with me in workspaces that have been shared with me, but I cannot publish and author my own reports. So we're going to go over to uh, licenses under billing. And this is where I can assign my licenses. So let's take a look at what licenses I have. There you can see that we have purchased 450 Power BI Pro licenses and 435 have been assigned. That means that there are 15 yet assigned and I'm going to request one of those. So since I'm not an Office 365 administrator, I'm going to have to send an email. So we'll just send an email here to our Office 365 administrator and say, hey Chuck, please grant me one of the pro licenses and then he'll know where to go to do that. If 
the person who set up your Power BI subscription is not familiar with the Office 365 controls, then you can share this video or provide in that. I'm going to go ahead and send off that email. One more thing that I do want to point out to you, we've seen that Power BI is connected with your Office 365 environment, whether or not you're actually using Office 365 services, it's also connected with Microsoft Azure services. And you can manage your users and permissions through the Azure portal as well. How do I do that? Well, I go to portal.azure.com. Once I go there, uh, if I'm not already logged in, I'll be asked to log in. And then, oh, I may get a, a little helpful screen that says, Welcome to Azure. doesn't look like you've been here before. And if I go down to Azure Active Directory, you can see all of my users that have been set up through Office 365, through Power BI, or through Azure are going to be here. This is where I can set up my Azure Active Directory groups and where I can also set up users. And here you're going to see all of the users in my environment. I'll go ahead and search for myself again. And there I am. And you can see that there are a lot of different permissions and different attributes that can be set up here. Again, if you're only using Power BI and you're not using Azure services or Office 365 services, this is going to be here, but um, you won't necessarily need to worry about um, a lot of these properties and settings. But here I can go to licenses. And once again, you can see that I have a Power BI uh, free license. And if I were a service administrator, I would be able to assign a new license to this user. Once that's done, I'll get an email and then I'll have all of the goodness of Power BI Pro. Now I'm going to take you to another Office 365 tenant where I am the administrator so we can see what that looks like. Here you can see that I've already logged into Office and I'll go to the Admin Center. And here I go to Users and to Active Users. And I can just choose myself. And you can see that I already have a Power BI Pro license uh, assigned to myself, but I could go to another user. And I can say I want to edit my product licenses. And here I will choose Power BI Pro. Now you can see that I don't currently have licenses, but if I turn that on, then the uh, tool will be very helpful and will let me uh, pay for that license and then all I need to do is click Save. Transition to my other user where I have a Power BI Pro license uh, applied and then it's just a matter of clicking Save and we're done. We can assign licenses either through Office 365 or through the Azure portal. Here in the Azure portal I simply go to Azure Active Directory and choose my users and then for a user I can assign licenses and you can see that I already have a Power BI Pro license so let me go back and choose a different user I go to licenses and then here is where I can assign a license to that user.